Hallelujah. Good to see you. Good to be with you. Good to be alive. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. When, when, um, Terence called me, immediately when he asked me to share this morning, I got a word from God. So I was, I was very happy. <laughs> It's a very, very simple word. You know, I am just a simple village boy. But it is a wonderful word. And um, we could start uh, with Acts chapter 2 from verse 41 to 47. Those who received his word, they were baptized. And that day, 3,000 people were added. And they continued. Amen. Amen. That is the word of the Lord for you. Continue. 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 They continue to devote themselves to the apostle teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayers. And all the believers, they met together continually. And every day, They continued to meet together, to break bread, and to eat together. And they were continually filled with the praises to God. Continually. And every day, continually, the Lord added to their numbers. This is something that will continue. Yes, come on. Yes, Lord. You will continue in the teaching of the apostles. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 You will continue in fellowshipping together. Amen. You will continue breaking bread. You will continue to practicing the covenant meal. Yes, amen. You continue to pray. And you will continue to rejoice in the Lord and to see the Lord is adding, 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 adding. Yes, Lord. They received the word. Yeah. And they were baptized. Yeah. Come on. They acted on the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. They acted on the word. Yes. And they continue. So this is the word of the Lord. We need to continue. Continue in the apostolic teaching. There was a constant teaching going on. So all the leaders need to constantly teach the message of the kingdom. And all believers must continue to follow and to put into practice the apostolic teaching. I believe in the Bible. I believe in every word in the Bible. I believe God is faithful. I believe God is doing what he has promised to do. God will fulfill what he has started. And you can trust the word of God. And you can trust the apostolic teaching that has been handed over to you. 
And when the Lord is saying continue, it's not about going in the old rut. It's not about routines. It is to live in the fresh revelation of the apostolic teaching, the word of God. <coughs> I'm sorry. The apostles, they were just ordinary people, lay people, fishermen. So. They had no formal theological um, education. But their most important quality, they had been with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. And they knew the scripture. And they received a revelation of the Holy Spirit. Flesh and blood has not taught you this, but my Father, by the Holy Spirit. So that is what we need to live in. Then we need to continue to practice and to pass on what we have been taught. You have been taught. You have been taught. Continue to put into practice what you have been taught. You don't need kind of new teaching. You don't need new doctrine. You don't need anything new. Continue in what you have been taught. Amen. 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 Because you have been taught well. You have been taught well. So the Lord has given you a wonderful inheritance. He has given you a wonderful um, legacy, whatever. I don't find the right word now. But he's left something with you. And the Lord is saying again and again, continue to practice. Continue to obey the word of God. Amen. Continue in this fresh revelation Amen. of what you have already received. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 And the second thing he is saying, continue to devote yourself to fellowship. Amen. Good. Amen. You are called to be a community. A community. A holy community yes. of people from all nations yes. being brought together, being bought, purchased, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yep. He is set free. Yep. He has broken down all the barriers. Yep. Yep. No borders. We are one community. We are one family. We are one people of God. Doesn't matter if you're young like me or old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, you are looking at a miracle. Yes, you are. You are a miracle. You are a miracle. Yes. The doctors told my father, "Your son will never grow up." Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I celebrate every birthday yes, to prove that the doctors were wrong. Yes. Because God had a purpose for my life. Yes. So I am still here. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I want to continue. Yes. Continue in fellowship. Yes. Continue with the community, the holy community of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. We are not created to be on our own. 
In the early days, we used to sing a song, Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, um, that um, I, am, I am not on my own. I don't remember the English word, only the, no, it's the English chorus we sung. I thank you, Lord, that I am not on my own. Yeah. The day you showed me your family, yeah, very good. I found my right home, yeah. my right Amen. identity. Amen. I am not on my own. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are family. So that's, I am so excited each time I come here yes. uh, and I, we, we meet together, we hug, yes. and say, it's great to see you. Yes. Why? Because we are family. We are family, yes we are. Yeah. We are family. And this family feeling is so important. Yes. We have, um, a few years ago, we uh, moved to I started to work in Stavanga, and we had uh, lots of uh, young people. So every, every Wednesday, Solvay made a dinner for about 15 young people. And we had a wonderful time. And then, suddenly, they more or less all disappeared. I couldn't understand. They had been using beautiful words of that we have been their spiritual fathers and mothers, and they were enjoying the fellowship, and everything was uh, great. And then suddenly, I think there was only two, one or two left of the whole group. They all disappeared. Because uh, there was one of them, so you wanted to be part of a, of a modern church with beautiful performance, beautiful music, and everything was um, excellent. And they could bring their friends to this uh, beautiful Christian performance. So. I, Suddenly, I disappeared. I, I didn't, I, I couldn't understand what's going on. Why does this thing happen? But, they all came back after some time. So I asked them, what happened? Why didn't you stay in that church? And I said, we, we had wonderful meetings, wonderful music. Everything was excellent, but there was no family. They had tasted Amen. the family. Yeah. And when they were there, the other place, they couldn't stay because there was no feeling of being a family, being a community, holy community. This is so precious. It is so, so, so precious. So you need to continue being the family of God. Amen. Whether you are young or you are old, whether you are thin, slim like me, or whatever shape you have, doesn't matter. We are family. Continue being the family of God. Amen. So we don't, we shouldn't pull away. We should not uh, neglect meeting together. Here we read, that they were meeting together from house to house. Yeah. And day by day, yeah. it was not only they met once for a, for a service, it was a lifestyle. Yes. There was a togetherness. Yes. There was this family feeling, Amen. this community of God. Amen. And it's a wonderful word, this uh, koinonia, the partnership. 
friendship, yeah. intimate relationship. That is what we are called to live in. We are called to be friends of covenant. Amen. 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 Yes. Continue. Yes. Continue. Yes. Continue. Yes. To be friends of covenant. Yes. Continue yes. to express and be a fresh and living expression of the covenant community. Loyalty, faithfulness, living in the light, knitting of hearts, joining together. Continue. And continue to break the bread. Continue with a covenant meal. Practicing the covenant meal. So Solvay and I, we have been practicing this for now for many, many, many years. Every morning, we are breaking the bread and giving thanks, sharing the cup, enjoying yes. the covenant meal. And we found there is a wonderful protection. And it is a wonderful demonstration and proclamation yes. into the unseen yes. world, yes. the invisible world. Come on. I need this expression of covenant. I need this proclamation of redemption. I yes. need this proclamation of Christ's victory over all those forces. Yes. And to remind them and remind ourselves, we belong to the Lord. Amen. Amen. No one is able to break it. No one is able to snatch us out of his hand. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He has redeemed us. We are his forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We are partakers yes. in the new covenant, in the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes. So we need to continue. My body, Jesus said, broken for you. My body, wounded for you. In my wounds, he's saying, there is healing, there is deliverance, there is freedom. Continue in the covenant meal. The blood of the covenant, forgiveness of sins, reconciliation, tearing down of every walls. We are his forever, brought together. Hallelujah. So this is all visible. We break the bread. We drink from the cup. But behind there are invisible realities. So the covenant meal reminds us there's something behind what we see. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the covenant people. Yes, we are. Yes. We are the covenant people. Yes. Amen. 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 We are the covenant people. Yes. Amen. Amen. So continue to continue to continue to be a covenant people and to share also the covenant meal together. Amen. So, the fourth thing was continue in prayers. That's what I did. So I also encourage you to continue in prayers. Of course, we have the private prayers. We have corporate prayers. And um, 
they met together to pray. Yeah. I don't know what you do, but um, you need to continue to pray together. Amen. You need to continue in your own Amen. private prayer. Amen. And you need to pray, Amen. come together to pray. Yes. Continue Amen. in prayers. I'm not going to labor much on that. But I'd like to take you to Acts um, uh, 5.42. Every day, in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease. They did not stop. They continued every day to teach and to preach that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, yeah. the Son of God. And in, in the same chapter, in verse 28, they filled the entire city with the teaching, the message about Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, we need to continue to make disciples. We heard here that God is um, the Savior. Yeah. The salvation belongs to the Lord. So you will fill, yeah, you will fill Cardiff. Yeah. You will actually fill Cardiff yeah. with a message of the kingdom. Amen. You will fill Cardiff with the message of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to do that? Yes. Amen. Amen. That is what God has called you to do. Yes. To Make disciples, to make disciples of, of, of this city, make disciples of this nation, make disciples, multiply disciples, continue, 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 continue to make disciples. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Continue to obey the Great Commission. Never, ever stop making disciples. Amen. The other day, um, I saw actually a vision of, of Cardiff. And um, it was like five streams went from Cardiff into five uh, villages, no, not villages, valleys. Five streams into five valleys. And um, when I looked at it, I realized this is not normal. Yeah. Because normally the streams and the rivers, they come from up and they go down. But this stream, these rivers, they went from down here and they went up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the opposite. God is doing something that is not normal. Amen. It's a kind, uh, you are going against the tide. There will be, you are going to, in the fresh revelation, when you live in this fresh revelation. Can I just say, my brother? Yes. 
That same vision was given to this church over 25 years ago. Wow. Exactly the same word for word vision. Wonderful. You've just given an amen. Amen. God spoke about this church 25 years ago. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Lord. You heard that? Yes. So now after 25 years, God is showing the same, yes. telling you the same thing. Amen. Yeah. This is a supernatural work of the Holy yes. Spirit that he is going to do yes. from it's flowing out of yes. from you into the valleys. You fill this city with the message of Jesus. Amen. And you will take it to all the valleys. Amen. 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 Oh, Solvay, I believe you have a word from God. Hallelujah. First of all, the Lord is saying, you are my wonderful, wonderful, precious people that are dearly loved by me. You are gracious, you are generous, generous, you are so precious to me, says the Lord. But today I will say that I will enlarge your thinking. You, you are thinking about yourself because you know that I am a great God and I can do tremendous, much more than you even dare to think because I am a great God, so I will do new things through in you and through you, says the Lord. The Lord is saying, <clears throat> enlarge this, the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords Amen. and strengthen your stakes. Amen. This enlargement, enlargement is a word from the Lord. I will do greater things than you even can dare to think about, says the Lord. Amen. It's a time for enlargement. What you have seen is great. What I have done is great. But now it's much, much greater things in front of you, says the Lord. And another word is togetherness. The Lord said togetherness. It is only one of you shall, you're well, you want, one of you, you shall perform and do what I call you to do. But first of all, you will do a great things together, standing together, moving together as one people, says the Lord. And last night I was woke up and I saw a beautiful vision of Great Britain with, with, small, with lights, lights spread all over the full country. So I was encouraged. God is saying enlargement. God is saying togetherness, stretch out, wide out. And you are so dearly loved. Amen. And he loves you so much. And the great God is with, uh, with each and every one of you personally. And he is with you all. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. The kingdom of God yeah. is constantly expanding. Come on. Amen. Amen. There is no end to the expansion of his kingdom. Yes. There should be no end to the expansion and enlargement of your heart and my heart. Amen. As we continue to walk with the Lord, as we continue to walk in the apostles' teaching, as we continue to, to pray together, as we continue to meet together, continue to, to share the covenant meal together, continue being the family of God, there is the enlargement. Amen. Amen. The expansion. Hallelujah, there is no end. This is a life we have been called to live. If we turn to Philippians, 
<coughs> sorry, Philippians 3, 12 to um, 16, is saying that um, I am not obtained. I'm not reached. I've not got hold of everything yet. But I'm hungry. I'm having a, I having a, I having a passion. I want more. What I have experienced, what we have experienced, what God has done for us as His people, His covenant people, it is wonderful. But God has more to give. God has more to do. And he wants to use each and every one of us. Let us run with passion. Amen. Amen. Run with passion. Continue, 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 continue. With the fire of God in our hearts. With the passion of the Holy Spirit. Continue, continue, continue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forget what's behind. Forget the past. And fasten your heart on the future. Because there is a beautiful future. There is a wonderful future for each and every one. And there is a beautiful future for this church, for this city, and especially also for the five valleys. Hallelujah. So he's saying, I run straight for the divine invitation. Reaching the heavenly goal. There's a wonderful goal. So we're having the same passion, he is saying. Let us advance together to reach this victory prize, following one part with one passion. Amen. Amen. And he's saying, join together in following the apostolic pattern. You not only received a teaching, a kind of a doctrine, but you have received a model, a pattern of life. So keep on obeying the truth that you have learned. I must remind you again, you have learned, you have been taught, you have been given this. It is time to be refreshed and to live in a fresh revelation and move ahead with passion of the Holy Spirit in what you have been taught. We have been given a pattern of life, a way of life. And we will explore new depths of the truth of Christ. We will break new grounds. And there are places far beyond you to go. There are places far beyond you to go. The far beyond you. Do not settle. Continue. Continue to run with passion. Amen.